Good evening. You're watching a special edition of The Big Story. I'm Harian Tudiman coming to you live from the Straits Times newsroom. News just in Singapore is on track to further ease circuit breaker measures on the 1st of June, said the government, but in a calibrated manner. The measures have shown promise in bringing down the number of cases, said the multi-ministry task force. It added that safe distancing measures will still remain and Singapore must maintain vigilance to prevent a resurgence of cases as seen in other countries. By 1st June, if all goes well and the number of new cases of infection continues to be low, we hope to roll back more measures so that we can allow more economic activities as well as social activities to be restored. Even as we approach the 1st June, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we do not expect by 1st June we will open everything and everything go back to normal and we begin to celebrate and have parties. I think we need to do so in a very uh, calibrated, very careful way because we have seen experiences in other countries when it is open, where everybody go back to celebrate uh, new cases emerge, new clusters em emerge. By the end of the month, about 20,000 workers will be discharged from care facilities and more will be expected to recover next month and be ready to resume work. A testing strategy has been put in place using serology and polymerase chain reaction tests. This process ensures that workers are free of COVID-19 before they return to their dormitories. About 3,000 tests are being done in the dorms currently, but that number will be stepped up in the coming weeks, said National Development Minister Lawrence Wong. So we have put in place a process to do so through mass PCR test and mass serological test. The serology test will be applied to the dorms with high infection rates. So with a serology test, we will be able to pick up those that test positive, meaning to say they have had some history of the illness, they probably have recovered. And after a period of isolation, we can assume that they are recovered uh, from the virus. For those who test negative for serology and for the workers in the other dormitories, then we will apply the PCR test. And we will do this either individually or in batches, meaning through pool testing. Meanwhile, achieving herd immunity to COVID-19 through natural infection in the population will be too big a price to pay, said the Health Ministry's Director of Medical Services, Kenneth Mark. He said this approach will lead to a higher number of deaths and infections, as well as overwhelm Singapore's healthcare system. Our strategy in Singapore does not involve uh, attainment of herd immunity in the population through natural spread of, of infection. Uh, it's too big a price for us to pay if we assume that uh, we're going to let COVID-19 spread freely in our population, we will then have to accept the cost associated with more seniors getting ill, more seniors getting complications, and, an, and a significant number of seniors uh, even dying from infection. We will then see also high numbers of uh, patients with COVID-19 infection potentially in our hospitals, in our ICUs, and this is a situation which is a very dangerous one because it may, it may see us move in the situation where uh, um, the, uh, very easily the, the sheer numbers of uh, people who are getting sick and infected overwhelm um, the resources that we have, even though we've taken many steps to prepare for uh, surges to expand our capacity, uh, it can easily be overwhelmed with, uh, with a strategy. For more on the COVID-19 updates in Singapore, do log on to straightstimes.com. For the full press conference, you can watch it on the Straits Times YouTube channel. Once again, I'm Harian Todiman. Stay safe and we'll see you tomorrow.